By the way, he's every big game he's played in, he's done his thing. I don't think a lot of people are going to give him credit though, simply because you're right. We live in a world where you need to either get the goal or you need to get the assist to to be given praise. You need to but, do a rainbow flick. You need to do rebonds. You need to do all of these things, right? Because we live in a world where people are, let's be honest, not clued up on football. They just want to know the the, the park game. The futsal. Just go watch futsal if that's what you, you know. You know. You know why today feels so much better for me because going into the game, I had low expectations. So I I feel like this is such a relief and such an energy off my shoulders that we've won. All week I was dreading this game. I was dreading it. So for us to win and certain people to have massive performances, it's great. Praise to have us today for his performance. I'm not gonna lie. Mass uh, massive praise. For Havertz for his performance today, massive. What, but what did everyone else think? I think some people are just going to say, "Oh, what did he do?" But but you have to see his souls. If somebody asks you, "What did he do?" What are you going to point out? Because to me, I'm just going to point out a lot of the hold up play and how he he made uh, how he made certain runs to clear up different players. But what you, what 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 else do you think we we can point out? I mean, look, the whole the whole first goal came from movement. It came from. Players in the right position at the right time, making the right decisions. Now, the only downside to the first goal is Havertz should have scored that. That shouldn't have been Saka's goal. That's where I will, you know, kind of put my hands up and say, okay, fairs. Number two, Aerily, he he had a lot of questions that. So Ryan now has an outlet to aim to with, against the likes of Kanate and Van Dijk. Don't forget, these are two physically Aerily good defenders. And Havertz held his own. Got a red card against Kanate. What more do you want from that? That led to our third goal because if Kanati's there, Trossard doesn't score. Um, if you want to talk about, you know, majority of a lot of our attacks came because of Havertz's hold up play as well. Now, a lot of people are going to look at it because he didn't take on a defender, because he didn't do the, the fancy thing, he didn't do the flick ons, he didn't do, you know, the, the skills and the flair. They're not going to like what he has to offer. But for me, even if you look at someone just occupying defenders, is enough to get your wingers inside and allow them to score. Saka got a goal because of Havertz's positioning. Martinelli's goal came from like you know a sensational counter attack as well, but also just being determined. Havertz occupies people and takes away um, space and allows others to have space as well. Because if you have someone who's too deep, for example, and doesn't ask those questions and isn't physically good in the air, you don't get a lot of what we did today. And that's what I'm saying. But again. People are going to see what they want to see. If it's not in a YouTube highlight reel, they're not going to want to see it. And that's the reality of today's fan base and analysis of football. Hmm. Okay, let's go next to the substitutions. Mikel Arteta made. He brought on Trossard, made a big difference. Brought on Kavior, made a big difference. Uh, brought on a lot of these guys. Even Reese Nelson late in the game it kept the pressure on Liverpool. Mikel Arteta did well today for substitutions, but what do you think about those changes, man? Is he is he getting better at utilizing his squad? Is he getting more trust? I feel like going out to 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 uh, on on that winter that winter vacation break that we did has really invigorized and changed the mentality of this team. More people are getting trusted, and and Mikel Arteta is now trusting his team a lot more. Also, can can you see how he's like buried his um, substitutions now? It's no longer a guaranteed Why was Trent seven. Off? Trent was injured. Trent was injured. Oh, oh yeah, is that why he got sent off? Yeah, yeah. Trent was injured. I he swear was... he gets injured every time he plays Martinelli. Is it? Or is I it swear just? Yeah, even last game he got subbed off. I swear he gets subbed off every time he plays Martinelli. I can't remember a time he's actually finished in ninety minutes. Hmm. Interesting. Did he not finish the ninety minutes versus in the FA Cup? Well, Martinelli no. didn't start. No, he came off. Gomez came on. Oh. 